Hello, my name is Dr. Joe Muscolino, and myself, along with Simona Cipriani, who will be demonstrating Pilates exercises with our client Sam, will be showing how to open up a thoracic spine into extension. This is especially important for stretching the pectoralis musculature in front, but even more so for opening up and loosening and stretching the fibrous fascial tissue in the back of the spine, the ligaments of the spine and the facet joint capsules. This is extremely valuable when we have a client who, is, who has a rounded back, is stuck in a rigid, flexed, hyperkyphotic position of their thoracic spine. Simona will demonstrate these exercises with Sam on the small barrel, the spine corrector, and the ladder barrel. And each of these three pieces of apparatus have a differing level of the degree of arc, so can therefore have a lesser or an increased amount of extension stretch placed into the client's spine. Hello, my name is Simona Cipriani. Samantha here is going to demonstrate the arm circles and the small barrel. Samantha, you're going to lie all the way down slowly with control and bring your head all the way onto the center of the small barrel. Lengthening the neck long posteriorly here, bringing your chin just a little bit down toward your chest. Good, I'm going to give you weighted um, the, the weights here, the two are two pounds. Bring your arms straight down. We're gonna start from the mat. So bring your arms all the way down. Now take a deep breath through your nose. Bring the arms up to the ceiling and exhale all the air as soon as you bring your arms above your head by your ears and then circle the arms slowly to the side and down. And again, inhale as you bring your arms quickly up to the level of your ear. So you want to be here a little bit faster. Just going to give her a little stretch. Exhale all the way back down. Inhale, come up. So the reason why I want her to come all the way up here quickly was because it's easier for the neck to be here with the arms above your head. Exhale down. Then it is when the arms are down. Now reverse. Arms up, inhale, lift quickly, exhale all the air. I'm going to give her a little stretch. Only if I feel that she's really working nicely into the rib cage here. So she's spinning the, pull, putting the ribs in a little bit together and pulling the ribs down as I give her a little stretch above the arm. So there's a little connection, a little bit of, uh, one more time, a little bit of tension. Exhale, reach, open the chest. And then at the end, make sure you are supporting the neck. E exhale all the air and finish in flexion. For the second set, you're going to sit back a little bit more, Samantha, with your pelvis. Good. And roll slowly back. And then this time, her spine and her head it's going to be a little further towards me on this side of the barrel. So it's a little bit more challenging for the cervical spine. I want to make sure she still keeps the chin in a little bit. And then we're going to start from here again. Inhale, take the arms up to the ceiling. And remember to come up here a little bit quicker. So and the exhale, it's really lengthening on both direction. And then you finish the exhale on the way down. So a little faster. Inhale up, get there. Exhale, now close your ribs a little bit and think about pulling your ribs down toward your pelvis. Exhale down, one more time, inhale up and do the best I can, you can to really um, open the arms evenly as you go down. Good, and then reverse, inhale up by the ears a little bit beyond. If she has the flexibility and I feel that, go ahead and keep circling the arms. And I feel that she's still in control, pulling the ribs in, using the abdominals. Then I give her a little stretch, a very gentle stretch. One more set. Lift, lift, lift. And here we come up. So I'm going to help her to come up and roll and 
and finish all the way to flexion just to take a, a little break there and for the third set I want you to come even a little bit back closer to the barrel with your pelvis roll back down one vertebra at a time again with control and lengthen your spine up and really open up the chest toward the ceiling so you can see how she's going to be a little bit more in extension with the neck as well so i'm going to give a little support um, so that way she'll be a little more comfortable with the neck but it's still uh, the collarbone is still on top of the barrel so really opens up all this area here nicely here so here we go arms up inhale and reach long exhale all the way down so once i know she's doing the arms by herself she now has learned the exercise nicely i see she's in control go ahead inhale sometimes i change my spotting just to emphasize the opposite pole so it's like really emphasize the pin of their ribs and now reverse inhale so when she's up there I just give a little bit of a stretch in this direction and then come down and again inhale up quickly there and then exhale all the way down make sure you're exhaling with your arms up to the ceiling and above your head now stay there exhale 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 pull the abdominals in so your pelvis is still in the posterior tilt take the arms forward chin to chest roll up and for the last time, give yourself a little stretch to finish. We're going to use the spine corrector for people that are a little bit more accustomed to Pilates and a little more flexible. And Samantha here is going to do the arm circles, so roll back down. But before we do the exercise completely, I would like to do some assessment with her just to check the alignment. So first on the spine corrector, the uh, barrel is pretty high. So I want to make sure that she still keeps the cervical spine really long by keeping the chin just a little bit in. Then I'm going to give her a weighted pole and you're going to have the arms shoulder width apart. Take the pole down towards your thighs and then from here take a deep breath, take the pole up to the ceiling and keep an eye at the pole as you bring it over the head. Exhale all the way out and then from here bring it back to the thigh. So we both are paying attention to, to the alignment and inhale so she's looking at the pole i'm looking at the pole i usually go back here to have a better uh, view of her entire body and i notice if there is any shifting um, in all directions side to side or a little uh, rotation in the shoulder so that i see her movement and her alignment and then i give her a little stretch at the end exhale the air so this is a nice little preparation if you will exercise for the arm circles chin to chest roll up round your back over good and i'll take the pull and you stay right there and now that i have uh, noticed her assessment and she also knows the uh, alignment of the shoulders and the arms i'm going to give her the uh, two pound weights and you're going to roll back down onto the spine corrector again lengthening the neck chin to chest a little bit more good and here we go we're going to start the arm circles by bringing the arms up above your head by your ears exhale the air out and circle it so the peripheral vision make sure the arms are not going extremely out to the side every time you want to be in control even though you want to stretch make sure you're not just letting go the arms and exhale 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 and i just lean back a little bit to give her a little stretch reverse the arms motion going out to the side above your head and lengthen out long and again always remind to keep the chin in so that you are able to not put so much stress on the posterior part of your neck and again inhale last one close your ribs as much as you can as you breathe out and 
and bring your arms forward, chin to chest, roll up, and give yourself a little stretch. On the second set, I like to see the pelvis a little closer to the barrel, and um, by having her a little closer, she's going to be more in extension. Roll back onto the barrel one vertebra at a time. And this time, I want you to extend your legs completely out, Samantha. So it's going to pull a little more on the pelvis, so it's a little less posterior tilted. That means it's going to be a little more challenge for her to really come up and, and um, extend the thoracic spine as well. So take a deep breath in, arms up. Right away to the ears, exhale the air out. Chin in, lengthen the back of your neck, beautiful. You see how that made a big difference? And come all the way down. And again, inhale up. Exhale. So again, I want to make sure that I gave her a little stretch. Only if I feel that she's really lengthening uh, to the opposite direction. So I'm not just pulling the shoulders, but I'm actually, I feel the connection all the way through the ribs into the powerhouse the abdominal area out to the side inhale exhale the air out and forward and open the shoulders equidistance right so you reach and you're nice and symmetrical there open the chest lift that collarbone up to the ceiling exhale the air out good arms forward chin to chest roll up all the way finishing it, a nice little flexion to give yourself a little stretch. And for this uh, third set, I want you to come even a little closer to the barrel with your pelvis and roll onto the barrel again. So she'll be even a little bit further up on the barrel into more extension. That's nice and long here. So if she needs a little support, I can give her a little bit of a pillow, just a, a small little pillow for her in case she's not as flexible but I think Samantha's here are you comfortable mm -hmm. <laughs> okay inhale come up with your arms straight up exhale all the out so once she is familiar with the motion of the arms after the third set I can step away in a minute that I can show you where you can also spot or where the teacher can spot to give her a little bit more sense of the opposition. Inhale, exhale, and the ribs very gently. Just emphasize the exhale. So she's getting two opposite directions of pull. The pelvis is still going down a little posterior to really pull in the abdominal area. Go ahead, one more. And exhale all the way. Stay there with your arms really reach, 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 reach. Good. And then the last one, always help out. So come back, round your back, stretch your arms all the way to your feet, and a full flexion to relax. Nice. This is called the ladder barrel, and it is the largest barrel in the Pilates studio. And uh, I'm going to have Samantha stand with the uh, legs a little wider than hip width apart, so almost the same uh, width of the barrel. And move a little bit to your uh, left side, yep. And hug yourself with the arms around your waistline. I want you to really think about bracing yourself and lifting tall. Bend your knees into a squat position until the pelvis is gently touching the barrel. And then articulate from your pelvis the low back into the barrel. So I want to make sure that she has no space between the barrel and her spine. So her spine is being supported all the way. Take the arms above your head and now as your neck is going down long and the head is resting on the barrel, I want you to reach for that pull. Really lengthen the arms. Take a deep breath and then the exhale, close your ribs and allow your chest to open. Take the arms back to the waistline, rolling back up, and articulate your spine. Good. Extend your knees. Bring your arms down between your legs and give yourself a little stretch there just so that you can reverse the curvature of your spine. And then again, bend your knees. 
hug your waist. Just spend a little time there to really feel the low back, the middle, and the shoulders, and finally the head. As your head goes back, the arm starts to, um, to really reach above your head because you don't want to spend too much time there without holding onto that paw. So this is going to help the neck to relax and you don't have too much tension there, okay? Really focus on opening up each rib here on top of the barrel and then again let go. Hug your waistline and now chin to chest, roll up, extend your knees and take the arms all the way down again. Sometimes if I feel that she's flexible enough, I just... Come down here, put a little gentle pressure just to give her a little more stretch. And last time, roll up, bend your knees, hug it in, and come up a little higher. So every time you want to come up a little bit more so that your arms can come into the second rung, just like you did before. So your arms never go past the second um, ladder or rung, pole, whatever you want to call that. Exhale the ribs in. Feel like you're really opening up the front of the body all the way through. And then again, come back, chin in, support the neck whenever you can. Exhale all the way. Take the arms all the way down. Breathe out as deep as you can. Great. Now that you have seen the uh, exercises demonstrated on the small barrel and the spine corrector and the ladder barrel, I wanted to, de to talk a little bit about uh, why we're using the small barrel versus the other barrels um, so that uh, I'm going to use Tina as a, a body. Come back, keep Tina sit a little bit closer to the barrel and light all the way back down so that you understand a little bit more what the differences are in using the height, the different heights of the barrel. So we start first with the posterior tilt of the pelvis and the knees bent to make the client a little bit more in touch with the abdominal area and also to um, extend the shoulders and also the spine um, in a very gentle way. So this is uh, a little comfortable, it's not extreme, and for people that are either um, a little bit um, less uh, flexible or older uh, or have some difficulties with bones, uh, we want to make sure that they go into extension gradually and um, uh, easily. So uh, take the uh, weights, take the arms straight down. The exercise is what we already have done, which is the arm circles. And I want you to just take the arms up above your head. So this motion here could be very small at the beginning and you always want to make sure the head starts at the very top of the barrel. The second thing I would like to um, demonstrate is to use the pillow in case they really need a little more support. So when you come up for a second, Tina, when you um, come a little higher to the barrel for the second repetition and the third repetition, when we have done that a couple times, we wanted to make sure the client comes up a little bit more on top of the barrel with the collarbone and the chest so that she's increasingly going to extension. And I have used the pillow underneath the head to make sure that this is also not too uncomfortable for some people that perhaps don't like to go to extension or extreme um, hypersensual with the neck area there. So you can always have the head being supported a little bit more in this, in this position. But make sure that the pillow is flat so she see, she's still able to make just a little bit of the not in motion so that she's free to move her head and neck. So take the arms up above your head and really reach out long. So she's free to either look down a little and move the head to accommodate that flexibility and the position of the chest and shoulders. Roll up and sit up for a second. 
And another point that I would like to make about the um, extension of the spine, we'll go ahead and roll back down again on the bare routine and just stay the same way, is that to increase the flexibility on the upper body, you can also do it with your knees extended. So you're really lengthening the legs long, the pelvis will be tilted posteriorly a little bit less, and therefore you're increasing the stretch already on the rib cage, maintaining the ribs in connected in through the rib cage and the collarbone and the arms and the neck. So again, keep your chin a little bit longer down, I mean, neck a little longer, that means the chin comes in a little bit there. And take a deep breath in, bring the arms above your head one more time to feel that just a little bit more of a gradual progression of the movement and therefore also the stretch. So the third time, by the time we come back for the third time, She's going to be, go back, let's say, come up a little closer to the barrel. Almost with the, um, actually not almost, but with your head, with the, um, with the head, her head, on the other side of the barrel. So this is going to lift the chest even more and extend even more. Take the arms up again for the last time. So be gentle, but be aware that the client needs to Either be supported with a flat pillow there if she's a little bit uncomfortable. And also if you want to increase the stretch and the opening of the chest, you can challenge the abdominals and the ribs also by having the legs all the way long. And this will be it. Chin to chest, roll up. And always finish into flexion because we also want to make, make sure the uh, spine gets mobilized in both directions. So we've now seen a beautiful extension stretch mobilization for the thoracic spine on the small barrel, the spine corrector, and the latter barrel. And I'd like to make an emphasis about something regarding this. In Matt Pilates workout, very often the instructor asks the client to move one vertebra at a time. We speak about articulating the spine, one bone, one vertebra at a time. And if a client starts Pilates when they're younger or when they're flexible, they certainly can do this and in, in fact increase their ability to articulate one vertebra at a time. But if a client starts Pilates in middle or perhaps older middle age and they're already locked in hyperkyphosis, locked in flexion, they have fibrous adhesions in the posterior ligaments, they have fibrous adhesions in the facet joint capsules, we can ask them all we want to move one vertebra at a time. It's not going to happen. That's where the beauty of Pilates apparatus comes in. By using the small barrel, the spine corrector, the latter barrel, we can create a fulcrum that moves their body weight around that apex fulcrum point to really mobilize that segmental level of the spine and loosen up those fibrous adhesions. And then when the instructor can stand there and increase the pull, we have the greater ability to increase that mobilization force. So the Pilates method is a complete method and we should never separate out the apparatus from the mat workout. The apparatus really allows us to direct our forces in to get that much more of a full and effective workout.